What's up guys? My name is Zan Perez and welcome back or welcome to my channel. I figured I haven't made one of these videos in a really long time, so I am here today to give you an updated Red Hive guide. Now I used to do a lot of these videos back in the day when I was posting all the time, but there have been a few changes made to the game and just the mechanics and everything and I've been a Red Hive for a pretty long time, so I have a pretty good understanding at this point of some of the things that you need and I'm going to walk through everything like the bees you need in your hive, the mutations, the bee quips, the amulets, but before we get into this video I just wanted to say thank you again for all the support on my channel and if you guys do end up liking today's video please make sure to give it a like, comment, and yeah let's get right into it. Alright, so I'm going to start this off by going over here and buying some treats because I've been doing a lot of work on the game and trying to save up some more honey to get my bees all the way up to level 18 in the whole hive. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to speed this up while I level up these bees. Last one here is going to be basic B, and there we go. Look at that full level 18 hive, pretty cool. Now if you level up your bees, make sure you get that plus 10% bond from treats from your moon amulet, but I'm going to switch it back so I get plus 8% honey from pollen. Alright, quickly I want to do a little donation because before we do the entire guided tutorial and how to set up the red hive. I have something else that I've been working on. So let's see if we can get lucky with something new with just a basic egg here. And nope, doesn't look like it. Well, so I'm just heading over here right now to make a donation and look what I have here. Interesting. I wonder how you get that. I'm gonna look at that in the index. Um, oh, here it is. Oh, I've been macroing. I must have been in the game for seven days straight. Oh, I have a problem, I guess. Alright, I gotta make one donation with really any of these, except for my skins. I'll just do this tough potato sticker. And perfect. And if you can see that, my badge has a little notification because I just completed, let's see right here, the sticker stacker badge. Perfect. That'll be a nice little boost to my hive. All right, well now that that's done with, let's go get into the actual point of the video. These are the the bees that you're gonna need in your hive. You're gonna need, obviously, gifted basic bee, that 1.2 times pollen. You're gonna need that in every hive color that you do, but especially red, uh, get that gifted brave bee for that plus one bee attack. You're really gonna need a lot of attack as a red hive, that'll make your star saw better. A hasty bee, that gives you plus 20% player move speed. That's important when you need to hit your marks and everything from the precise bee and then these other ones you don't need looker bee looks like it would be pretty good but that's plus 25 percent critical power you don't really need it um you don't need stubborn bee commander bee i have one right now but i'm gonna get rid of this in a little bit and replace it with a vector bee uh just because you just don't really need it and extra vector bees are always good because marks are super important you don't need any of those uh you need a rage bee just for the gifted bonus that plus one bee attack and then you're going to want a gifted Riley Bee for that plus 20% red field capacity because red doesn't have that much capacity to begin with, so that's really going to help you out. And then you're going to need either two or three baby bees. Um, I have two gifted baby bees right now, um, and you're going to want to make sure that you can get the ability rate on them. If you can't, then you should have three. If you can have the ability rate, then you can probably just get away with two because Tadpole Bee will also give you some baby love if it's gifted. Um, but I'll kind of talk about that a little bit more in a second, but I try to go for three of them right now and just kind of swap that out for the commander bee at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd shoot for three of those because that extra luck is going to be important just for when you're doing the rest of your boosts. And also it's a lot easier to get the ability rate on a legendary bee than on a mythical bee. Um, so let's see here, there's carpenter bee. Um, I have four of those. That's what you're going to need. You're going to need to run four gifted carpenter bees. Uh, the gifted ability isn't really that great, but the mark is really important. You're definitely going to need those marks. Um, that is another huge part of the red hive. It runs very heavily on marks. You're going to want to get yourself one music bee. 
uh, with that gifted ability and that gives you melody which is super important because that buffs your critical power by twice as much which is super super good so you're definitely going to need to have that uh, you're going to get yourself one gifted shy B. Uh, that one is pretty self-explanatory that has a little bit of extra B ability pollen um, and that will also spawn red boost tokens um, which is a little hard to get when you're running this setup that we have here and then a lot of people run one of the tadpole bees and one buoyant bee i don't currently run one um, i'm trying to figure out if that's the right thing to do or not i'm thinking i probably will but um, i don't know i think it might create a little bit of lag but the issue with having too many tadpole bees as well is that creates a lot of lag but then the big one that you want here you're gonna need 11 gifted precise bees uh, you don't really need them gifted but if you can get them gifted that will help you a lot more um, but that super crit is super important right now and if you have these marks and you're running around and hitting your targets then you're going to be able to get super crits a lot easier and that will help you get a lot more pollen at the end of the day and make a lot more honey from that pollen. So there you go, there's 11 of those. You're going to need 10 spicy bees because this is what's going to give you the flames. So this will build up your scorching star and it will also... Um, and it will also give you dark flames. Sorry, I lost my train of thought on that last thing. Next up, you're going to need a tadpole bee. I have two of these right now because it gives a little bit of baby love, but if you have too many of these, like I was saying earlier, all the bubbles and the frogs will create more lag, and that will just not be too good for you. So I think that a lot of hives are usually just running one of those tadpole bees and one buoyant bee and then three babies. Uh, but then I have six vector bees, but really you're probably going to want eight of these. Um, so I'm gonna try to swap some of these out and get eight of these and probably gifted if you can because that will make a big difference. That will give you a lot more pollen from marks and it will stack up quite a bit. Then you're gonna need a bear bee here. Obviously, um, that's a super important one for that ability if you can get it. Crimson bee, that's another event bee that you're gonna need. That's the red one. And then definitely get yourself a digital bee. A digital bee is really good and it starts off pretty weak, but once you get a lot of drives added to it, it can get very strong. Then you're gonna need a festive bee because that will give you plus 15% red pollen and that has some good stuff with the bee quip and everything. You don't need a gummy bee, but you do need a photon bee that gives you some extra instant conversion. That will definitely help you out quite a bit. Definitely do not need Puppy Bee. Unless you're upgrading your hive, then you can go for that. That's plus 20% bond from treats, which is pretty helpful. Uh, Tabby Bee, probably the best bee in the game. Super, super strong if you have maxed out Tabby Love. Just look at that. Like that gather amount and that convert amount is so much higher than... Let's see if we can click on the Photon Bee. I don't know why that's not working. Um, yeah, look here. That That's a much, much, much lower stat. Look at all those. And then you click on the Tabby Bee and... Yeah, yeah, that's just so much higher. So definitely make sure you get yourself a tabby bee. That is so important. You don't need a vicious bee. I like to run the vicious bee, but when I boost and do big boosts during bees miss, I'm probably gonna get that out of my hive. Uh, it's just not necessary, but it's nice if you're doing like stick bug or robo challenge. Um, but then yeah, let's just look at the attack on that guy versus on this vicious bee. The precise bee has a higher attack actually just because that's how my amulets are set up to give my red bees extra boosts and extra attack power. So red bees are going to be more worthwhile to you anyways for attack. And then windy bee here, you're just not going to need that. Uh, but let's get into some of the amulets that you're going to need now. That's the big part. All right, we're going to start off here with the Supreme Star amulet. Bear with me, guys. I know this is a lot of information to take in. Um, but so you're going to need a Supreme Star amulet with the passive abilities on it of Scorching Star and Star Saw. You're going to want to look for Red Pollen, Critical Chance, Pollen from Bees, Pollen, and Bee Ability Rate on it. So those are the really important ones that you're going to want to look for on this. I do not by any means have a perfect Supreme Star amulet, but once again, you're going to need Red Pollen, Critical Chance, Pollen from Bees, Pollen in general, and then Bee Ability Rate. So yeah. Next up here, we're at the ant challenge. On this one, you're gonna wanna have red pollen, bee attack, critical chance, and critical power. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure that you have red pollen and that bee attack, but all those stats are pretty important on that one and they're not too hard to get. Uh, but yeah, ideally if you can get red and white pollen, that is the best stat for you. All right, next up here is the stick bug. You cannot actually get a supreme stick bug amulet, but you can get a diamond one, you're gonna want uh, one bee attack plus two red bee attack on yours 
you're gonna want red pollen or pollen um, and then plus 10% bee attack. So a lot of attack that'll help you quite a bit. So there you go. And then hopefully I'm not going too fast here, but next up is the king beetle amulet. And honestly, on this one, it doesn't really matter. It'd be nice if you can get yourself a boost in a red field like strawberry, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you definitely have plus one bee attack on it. Next up is the stump snail amulet. And on this one, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get goo conversion, goo, and pollen on it. And if you have those three, then it doesn't really matter what else the other ones are. It's kind of just whatever preference you have and whatever fields you grind in. Uh, but yeah, definitely make sure goo conversion, goo, and pollen. Those are the important ones right there. All right, now my cog amulet is actually really bad because I have not played the robo challenge enough and I have not gotten a super good score on it. But on this one, you're gonna wanna get bee attack, red pollen, mark pollen, or event bee ability pollen, and then super crit power percent and red instant conversion. Those are the important ones right there. Um, so yeah, try to get those and you'll be pretty set on that. And then over here from the moon amulet, you're gonna wanna make sure that you just have plus 8% honey per pollen on it. And if you're upgrading your bees in your hive, make sure you have that plus 10% bond from treats. That is basically the most important part. But now that I'm over here at the hive, let's talk a little bit about bee quips. Now, bee quips are a little bit tricky, but basically what you're gonna want, you're gonna wanna have two toy horns and you're gonna want to put those on the crimson bee and the rage bee those are really important because that will allow you to spawn melody and that melody is very important because you don't have many bees in your hive besides that music bee right now that are able to spawn that so that is an essential one make sure you have two of those and yeah that is gonna help you out quite a bit next up the toy drum and i have this toy drum here on my what is what bee is this on again um so, oh yeah that's on my rage bee i was <sighs> future zamprez here it's riley bee not rage bee zamprez really just looking at it yeah you're gonna want to put this on your rage bee and that will help you out a lot paper angel i put this on my photon bee and that is because it gives me a token link which helps me a lot when i'm boosting and stacks things up if you have a festive wreath you're gonna put that on your festive bee that'll help you a lot when that ability activates and then you want three bees mist tops and you're gonna put these ones on your three rare bees that you have you're gonna want to put them on hasty brave and your or your and hasty brave and your basic so it's your three lowest rarity bees i guess your basic bee your hasty bee and your brave bee stick those on there that'll make them a little bit better and that this poinsettia you're gonna wanna put this on the tadpole bee that you have, just one of the tadpole bees. A lot of you will probably only have one of these tadpoles and then one buoyant bee, uh, but stick this poinsettia on the tadpole bee. It'll just make it a lot better and help you a little more because a blue bee doesn't really help you at all. And then you're gonna wanna put bees mist tree hats on your precise bees. Now, you're either gonna wanna put bees mist tree hats or smiley face on these ones. But this one really helps you a lot because it has ability pollen and it just it honestly will help you more than you know and then next up here yeah smiley sticker you can stick this on one of your precise bees as well i only have one and it's really bad so i'm working on getting more of these that's because it has mark duration and if you have a gifted version the mark is really powerful and then bubble lights the thing with this you're going to want to put these on your vector bees but it can only go on bees that have energy mutations but the mark duration helps out quite a bit. So you don't wanna have this on your precise bees, even though your precise bees need mark duration, because you wanna have attack mutations on your precise bees and not energy mutations. So there is that. You're gonna to wanna to have peppermint antennas and you will put these on your bear bee, I believe, yep, on your bear bee. And that will help a lot, just give you better ability rate and everything. Um, I put a sweatband on my digital bee and that is because that has that hive bonus of plus one percent red pollen um and it could always use a little bit more energy that's a pretty good one to have um i i saw something somewhere about that so i went with it so i don't know if that's the right thing to do but um on the sites that i've been using and i'm gonna leave this one link down in the description that i've used that is kind of what it recommended on there as well so that is what i'm doing for that b right there which just that one percent uh, red ability so now let's get a little bit into the mutation aspect of things 
Oh my gosh, I feel like I've been talking for so long this video, but here, on precise bees, you're gonna wanna have attack. This is really important. Get your attack up on this. This will help out with things like your star saw. The more attack that you have, the better your star saw will do and the more it will convert. All right, in that last clip, I said you can only have attack on precise. You can also have bee ability rate on any of these. So yeah, just make sure you get attack on those. And then on Vector B, you're gonna to wanna to have energy on the ones that you can put the bubble light on, um, but you really wanna have gather mount on these. Gather mount's the best one to have, um, but if you have attack, honestly, I'm fine with it just because attack is really good to have. So I'm trying to get most of them with gather, but I'm fine with it. Um, and then here, spicy B, you're gonna to wanna to have convert amount. On most of mine, I have attack or gather. So I need to make those change a little bit, but again, I am fine with the ones that are attack, just because that makes my scorching, not my scorching, sorry, my star saw quite a bit better. Um, and then let's see here. That's pretty much the most important ones right there. Your mythic bees are the ones that really need to be gifted, except your baby bee needs to have that bee ability rate. And it's a lot easier to get that bee ability rate on a legendary bee than it is to get on a mythic bee. Um, so yeah, that is basically it for mutations there. But that is going to be it for today's video. I know this was a little bit of a longer one and I hope I didn't bore you with all the talking. I know that was a lot of information and I'm going to leave the website linked below that I used to help me with this entire build. And there definitely are a few things that might be a little bit off about this, but in general I did quite a bit of research to figure out everything that's super good. And I want to say the game is constantly changing and there are buffs and nerfs and weird things are happening all the time. So it's hard to stay completely up to date on everything, but I'm doing my best for you and I will try to get back to you guys if there are changes that are made and I can make a completely new video. But for now, I hope this helps you guys out quite a bit. I just want to say again, thank you so much for all the support of my channel. I really appreciate it all. I have been having so much fun making these videos and I will be doing them for a super long time now, I hope. And I'm just at the moment getting ready for Beesmas just like all of you guys are. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.